Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a sick ass quad on our hands and it's the new Diatone. It's called the Diatone 2018 GT M200. Now this is a true X and it is an absolute beauty. However, you know, the, the, the arms here are actually six millimeters. So they're pretty thin as well. So let's go ahead and actually get a quick measurement here. And the overall weight, it's not super light, but it's not super heavy. It's around 108 grams. So the width I would say is 10 millimeters here. So the width is 10 millimeters and the thickness is six millimeters flush. So that's very good. The bottom plate here looks like it's either two or 1.5, which is actually a 1.5 millimeter. So all you gotta do is, all you have is one bottom plate here. And then you have this uh, battery strap mounting solution here, which acts as a nut also coming down from the top, as you can see here. Uh, this is aluminum right here. And it's very nice finish, very, very nice finish here. Um, the side plates, or should we, should we call them, yeah, the side plates here, which is the upper frame part. It's around 4.5 millimeters all around, so it's 4.5, 4.5 millimeters. So this thing seems like it could take a hit. However, I do see some very weak points, but overall, it looks stunningly beautiful, actually, in real life. Uh, it looks way better than the picture, to be honest. Um, just that nice finish. This is fully, you know, adjustable here for your VTX also. I, I really do like this, to be honest. Um, as you can see there, you can just loosen it and then you can just go ahead and adjust it right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, it looks like a sick beauty here. Uh, you're not going to have much room and I, be I believe this is this is actually designed for a Runcam Micro. So don't expect you're going to be putting some HS1177 type cameras here anytime soon. So as you can see here, it's actually indented inside a bit more. So the whole object or the whole idea here is to have light quad. And um, that's what they're going for here. As you can see, it has the aerodynamic profile. However, you know, the cuts, you know, just, it just feels beautiful. I mean, I mean, it's to be expected from Diatone. If it wasn't like this, it would be a shame, to be honest. Now, Diatone is known to innovate, and I really do love that. And that's one of the only companies that really do some innovations. I'm sure others do also, but I'm talking about just like, you know, Chinese companies or Asian companies, just leave it at that. They do some nice innovation. However, the price is a bit steep usually, but you know, sometimes they do give you good quality stuff. Um, and um, yeah, and it just, it doesn't seem like it's gonna disappoint here. Uh, the way it came pretty bagged, it was vacuum sealed. There was no air to go inside of it. And um, as you could tell here, it was pretty much uh, crumpled up. This is the uh, straps that came with it. Uh, the hardware all was perfect. They do give you a couple extra hardware pieces such as they give you four uh, camera screws here and we had an extra standoff just in case and uh, two, two screws, two smaller screws, 8mm and two 12mm screws left over. Uh, that's for your own uh, in case of spares, you needed spares, so they do provide that for you, which is pretty good. However, they don't provide you the screws for your uh, actual fr flight controller here, nor do they give you any nylon standoffs. But they do give you a couple, you know, uh, zip ties here if you wanted to use them for something, as well as two nice battery straps. Uh, not the thick, thick ones that they usually give you with the Diatone, the RTF one, they give you these nice fat ones there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the quad now here. So it weighs around 108 grams. So this is 108 grams, just as is, just like this, exactly like this actually. And um, it fits together perfect, it's very beautiful. It does have a battery mounting solution, as you can see right there, which is perfect. I really do love this style. However, this does add weight, but it also adds durability and um, rigidity to the whole overall frame. Um, you know, this is not for everyone, I believe. This is going to be for some specific people. Overall, it looks like a beauty, and to be honest, I really can't wait to build it. However, what I'm going to go for with this guy, I believe, is some kind of all in one with the ESCs built in to give us as much room as possible because inside here, I don't see we're going to have that much room. Let's just take a measurement from the uh, smallest point where we could possibly mount something which would be right there it's around 21 millimeters so I'm taking 21 millimeters from this right here to here uh, that's 21 millimeters so your stack should not exceed 21 millimeters unless you have some kind of half stack then you should probably be good to go and as you can see here the 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 uh, nylon standoffs will actually collide with this. It's not indented in or indented out. It's just on the same level as the standoffs or the side plates coming over here. Now, this does come in two colors. You do have the uh, gray, the titanium, sorry, and the blue. I, I went for the blue because it's just it just stands out. It's going to be easier to find if I crash it somewhere, uh, especially in grass. It'll be a little bit easier to find. But overall, I mean, you know, it's, it's a beauty. Let's do a little bend test. Oh, hell yeah. This is not going to go anywhere. 
this is very good. Um, it's very good. I mean, that's all I can really say right now. The cuts are absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous to the touch. Uh, I did have a couple frames uh, in the previous videos. I was super afraid to touch the sides because I got so many splinters. As you can see, I can't. I still can't even take them out. I just got a couple everywhere. But this one is absolutely beautiful to the touch, especially this plate right here, which is not also sanded down or just has a nice filing to it. It's still good, nice to the touch. It does have that beautiful silky shiny finish to it hopefully the camera can do it justice as you can see here it's absolutely insane um, are you getting exactly what you're paying for well I, I think so but I don't know really just yet until we actually build it and take it out for a flight and crash into a pole a couple times um, overall it looks like a sexy beast and um, yeah I, I really can't wait to get it built and everything so you know it just seems like it'll handle most things you do have your SMA port if you wanted to kind of set up some kind of SMA port if you want to put a stackable VTX that would be good but you know just take into consideration which is very important is that it'll only take a run cam micro because that is the spacing between uh, there is also this cheap run cam micro same manufacturer just different layout I'll leave a link to that down below it's only 20 bucks so it's basically just buying a, a copy of the uh, Foxier XAT600M uh, uh, which is a 1177 type camera and it's just a micro version from the same manufacturer as the uh, Runcam Micro so that'll that'll right there will save you a couple bucks right there probably 10 bucks of savings right there so it's just like buying some Chinese good clone so I mean I could see a two stack uh, ESCs I would highly recommend you not stick them here because they're going to be just sticking out off to the sides there isn't anything this thin so it would probably go for like all-in-one flight controller and some kind of 4-in-1 ESC or a full-on fledged all-in-one flight controllers with the ESCs integrated such as the Star F3S and the Star F4S which I do highly recommend and which I'm actually waiting on to actually build it with this guy um, or I might just strip one of my quads which has an Asgard or actually no, I do have a Star F4S with the uh, motors totaled, so I'm actually probably going to stick that in here, and we're going to go ahead and test out that new uh, Runcam Micro clone, but it's not really a clone, it's from the same manufacturer, just a different name. So that's what I think I'm going to do here. And for VTX, you know, we can go with some kind of nice stackable one, such as the Maytech VTX, or we can go with that little cheap UFO VTX, which I find to be good. Uh, what we did previously, what we waterproofed, we did the waterproof quad on with. So in, in overall, this would probably be a perfect candidate for even waterproofing. However, you know, I would probably maybe design or 3D print some kind of top cover for this just to, it's not going to make it more waterproof, but it'll just help out a little bit more, even though it'll add weight, but it should be good overall. Um, overall, I mean, I see it's a nice little beauty, uh, and uh, it's really nice to look at. I, I must say, I, don't, I really hope the camera's catching. It's just, it's just insane. It's like sleek, and um, it's, it's just beautiful. Uh, it really is, actually, you know. Um, and it has these holes here, but I have no idea for what. Maybe we're going to see some kind of extension for a GoPro mount. Obviously, there isn't really any good way to mount your GoPro here, unless you have one of those TPU flexible mount ones like I use. Uh, you do have some holes here for some kind of zip tying, and then obviously you have here. So I, I think there is going to be some kind of mount that goes up here, because I can see the holes ready for a strap of some sort. So that kind of does explain it, and... Um, Hopefully we get to do see it, and it's very much a shame that I actually didn't come with it though. Uh, I must say I'm very disappointed if this does come out, and uh, only time will tell now until we build and take it out for a flight. So uh, that's going to include it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.